Safety is of paramount importance at this festival, especially during the building of the stage. Rob Easton, Health and Safety Manager for The Green Man. You start planning health and safety when you see the green field. You say, can we make this work? Can we make it work for the guest, for the staging? So you look at sites and, and they're, they're beautiful, but unfortunately you just can't make them work as a, as a festival site. It sounds like a cliche, but find a good site and make it, make it great. The main stage is the largest structure on site. What role does health and safety play in choosing it? What we tend to go for is designs that have already been approved. So you're going with a staging and a, and a covering that is put up, say, 10, 15, 20 times in a year. The guys that you employ do this week in, week out, and every now and again you, you just have to test them, but you've got to trust them. You do have issues on the stage. Obviously you've got a, a big lighting rig, you've got a lot of electrics on there. So again, you've got to have competent persons inspecting the lighting. Some sites will want to put on pyrotechnics, lasers, you know, bangs, whistles, and we know the controls. And again, the people that are installing them now know what the law is and know what we're looking for. So you, you very rarely have to correct them on anything. There has been cases in the past where someone's come in and they've built a laser off the, off the internet and they want to put it on for their uncle's band. And you're just going, do you know what, that's staying in the box. <laughs> One of the problems that we've got this year is we've moved the stage slightly and you've got the feed that goes from the front of house mixing desk to the, uh, the stage. Basically it's not where it should be because we've moved it so we've got a big trip hazard there. So what we've done is you see we've put the gravel down um, and that should be okay but obviously we need to, to check it and we'll keep an eye on it throughout the event. Seems like a minor point but if you were to have a member of the public fall in this area Really, really hard to get the first aid team in because obviously you, you can't get ambulances to it. Rob inspects the stage before the festival to check that the crew are working safely. We're doing this visit at daytime, but we've got to assume it's 10 o'clock at night, it's pitch black. And these are one of the problems is we can never get steps right because we're out in the middle of a field, because the land's rolling here, there and everywhere. It's a real pain to get steps so people aren't falling over them. But they've done their job there, we asked them to white line them, we've asked them to put the handrail in. Uh, and uh, yeah, they've done a really good job there. So that's exactly as, as you'd get on a, on a building site or in your house, meets the requirements of the law. Again, it seems like a small point, but you think there may be hundreds of people coming through here over the weekend and some of them may be a little bit worse for wear. <laughs> Just looking at the decking of the stage, it, it's very clear. Um, you'll notice there's, there's not a lot of stuff on it. You've got feeds, you've got the electric feeds for the back line, you've got some lighting. But what they try and do is keep the stage as clear as possible. Also, it makes, it makes the changes easier but also means that there's you know, very, very little for these guys to fall over or trip over. So it looks really tidy. Even with a, uh, a stage like this, you, you look at it, it, it's taken from festival to festival, it's put up a hundred times maybe in a, in a year, you, you still have problems. There's a great example here. So we've, we've got an upright, um, which is nice and sturdy. Then you've got the upright here off the ramp. But the problem we've got is um, if we weren't to put this dropping in here, people could fall and then you've obviously got a fall from height, you've got a two metre fall, which would, you know, could be fatal. So you can't take for granted that because this kit's been up a hundred times before, because this kit is specifically designed for the task, you've, you've always got to look at it, you've always got to question it. That's a great example that you still need to go around and make modifications on the day to make sure it's safe to use. How can Rob balance the need to be safe with providing a great show? One thing you'll notice about the Green Man is we don't have low level barrier in front of the stage. A lot of events you'll go to, they'll have low level barrier, they'll have security, they'll have a pit and the audience will be maybe 10, 15 metres away. But you look at the audience profile, are these going to be people that are going to be jumping on stage, trying to crowd surf? Do you not? Probably not. The audience love it because they, they feel it's very relaxed and that we're trusting them. And again, it sets the tone for the event. So it's funny, one small thing like that can really set the tone for the entertainment. Another aspect of health and safety is controlling the levels of the sound. I'm Dave Stiles, I'm the noise consultant for the site. I implement the noise plan, so we have to make sure that the crowd aren't exposed to any dangerous levels of sound. As part of the license conditions for the festival, we have to minimise noise nuisance. So uh, we'll be taking measurements around the site to make sure that we're not, uh, we're not disturbing the neighbours too much. The audience are there for the music, but how loud should it be? 100 dB is what we're aiming for in the crowd areas because that's, uh, that's level sufficient to be pleasing. Minimum really would be 95 decibels, and so we're, we're going to aim to be somewhere in, in between the two really. Where is the nearest residence that you measure at? We can see it from here, I think it's the house up on the hill, but it's complete line of sight, so yeah. you know, there's not a huge lot we can do about that. 
So we're taking a measurement at the nearest point of exposure for the audience and taking a measurement at the uh, front of house mix position where the engineer stands so that we can, uh, we can gauge what measurement up there means the levels we're trying to achieve down here. Dave asks them to fire up the system so he can check his levels. There you go, the maths works. 99.7 uh, at the at the barrier, and that's achieving 95 at the desk. That was the plan, and first time that worked out pretty well, so I'm quite happy with that. <laughs> Does it always work that smoothly? No. <laughs> Why is Dave's job important for the smooth running of a festival? Well, if we breach our licence and are effectively causing a public nuisance, we won't be granted a licence next year. So it could mean that the festival won't happen again 